Two things have become pretty obvious to me over the past couple of months. The first is I believe in Arkansas. I think they're going to do big things. The second is not a lot of you are on board with me, judging by my inbox. But we're not going to solve that tonight, although I do want to play you something because that's okay. Look, when we disagree, I'll be happy to accept your apologies down the road. It's happened before. It's going to happen again. You and I know it. But I did have something on this Sunday night here, what, April 10th, the year of our Lord, 2022, that I wanted you to hear. Now, you know who Barry Odom is. If you don't, Barry Odom is the current defensive coordinator at Arkansas. He's the former head coach at Missouri. Guy's been around the block, guy's a lifer, knows the game very well, and importantly, when we're about to roll this clip, he has experienced the game from multiple perspectives up to and including head coach. So with that in mind, we're going to play you something here. I want you to listen to it. This is Barry Odom, Arkansas defensive coordinator, and we will talk about it when we come back. The culture that Sam Pittman has every day in our working environment, you can't beat it. Uh, I don't, you know, I've not worked that many places, but you can't tell me it's better somewhere else. I think we've got a great uh, administrative support. The fan base is the, the, the best I've ever seen. It's, it's unbelievable. I believe with the team that we have, the way we've been able to recruit, my family is really happy here. I'm excited and happy to be here. I think we can achieve great success here. Uh, so all those things combined, um, if, if there's an opportunity for me to be a, you know, I had opportunities as, you know, in, in um, you know, a couple of things this off season to be a head coach again, I'm not going to go take a head coaching position again, just to say I did it. I don't, I don't need that. My, my ego doesn't need it. I don't need it. I'm having as fun as I've ever had coaching uh, being here. And I don't know if fun has anything to do with it, but I enjoy getting up and going to work every day. The student athletes that I've got a chance to coach right now, they're bought in. They like to play ball. They like to practice. They like to compete. They're doing a great job academically. And it's a fun group to be around. Some day, some year, if a head coaching opportunity presents itself, um, then, then I may go make a run at it. But it's got to be the right fit with the right alignment. And, and uh, I feel like Arkansas is a special place. It's pretty real. I mean, pretty straightforward. When I tell you people with options are choosing Arkansas, Barry Odom, the defensive coordinator there, is exhibit A. And for that matter, Kendall Bryles, the offensive coordinator, is exhibit 1A. Those are guys with options. These are not retreads. They're not afterthoughts. Both of those guys could have left this past cycle for what you may term greener pastures. That's what's changing in college football right now, in particular in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Do you realize they are one of only eight Power Five teams that have a pair of coordinators returning for their third season or longer? It's a big deal. And that's a lot of consistency that is invaluable in nature. They got a top 10 portal class because just like the coaches, players given options are choosing Arkansas. They got a top five signing class right now for 2023 because players with options are choosing Arkansas. Why does your mind default to that being a red flag? Why does your mind default, for instance, to the way a lot of you end up going when we talk about this? I talk with a lot of you about this. I got buddies I talk to on the phone about this. Think it through for a second. Why does your mind tend to default to thinking of Arkansas as a backup option? Why do you kind of recoil a little bit if anyone ever suggests Arkansas could contend one day for the SEC West or a college football playoff spot? Your mind goes there because your mind defaults to Arkansas being a backup option because they have been. For top-level coaches, for top-level players, you haven't seen them go to Arkansas a whole lot in recent years. You're used to them being a secondary option. I think what's changing right now, you hear it out of their mouths, you see it in their actions, is college football is slowly starting to realize what they realized a little while ago in Fayetteville. They're not a backup option anymore. Arkansas football used to be a backup option for a lot of coaches and a lot of players. Arkansas is not a backup option. They're a destination now. And a lot of people are going to continue to realize that. Look, I, the good news for me, since I happen to believe in the vision and in in the, in the direction, is I don't really have to bank on something intangible. Like we're looking at the guys they just got in the transfer portal. Jaden Hazelwood couldn't have gone to two dozen programs. He went to Arkansas. He chose to go there. Drew Sanders was one of the top prospects in the country uh, two cycles ago that went to Alabama. Drew Sanders got banged up, and Dallas Turner, who's just a total freak of nature, takes his job. That's the reason that Drew Sanders wasn't going to be playing in Alabama as much. 
quite frankly, he was still going to be playing. I say that to tell you, Drew Sanders could have gone pretty much anywhere in the country he wanted to. Those are dudes with options who chose Arkansas. So moving forward, you're going to continue to see this. And look, if you watch them this spring or if you end up watching them this fall, uh, they're going to be a version of the same team you saw last year. K.J. Jefferson's still a quarterback. He's coming back. But when you watch them tee it up against Cincinnati in week one and they got South Carolina in week two, they play A&M in the first month of the season. You know, that guy we just heard from, Barry Odom, going to have as much speed on defense as he's ever had there. They're going to have more weapons offensively than they've had there, including guys like Hazelwood coming in from the transfer portal. Uh, they are going to be a very good team. I'll tell you the other thing in your subconscious. That's one of the only remaining hurdles between you and your mind embracing Arkansas the way that your boy here already has is that SEC sticker on their helmet. You know who they have to play every year. Fact of the matter is, I think we all know this is true. If you were to put a Big 12 helmet sticker, but keep the program the same, or put an ACC helmet sticker, but keep the rest of the program the same, it's probably a playoff team last year, guys, and certainly could be a playoff contender this year. If I took everything about that program and I put them, I put them in uh, Lubbock, Texas, that'd be a playoff contender. You'd believe in them, too, because you know, even though some of you claim otherwise, that schedule and strength thereof is extremely disproportionate in this game. Therefore, you are not always what your record says you are. Translation, 9-4 and four in Fayetteville, Arkansas could have been 11-1 and one or better in many other outposts in college football. So I'm excited. I'm very excited. Very, very solid potential destination for our yet-to-be-named Week 1 tour this fall. We are accepting names as we speak. Renaissance tour was good. How do we make it even better?